cool. These pupils in Liverpool are testing a new Braille e-reader. Library. Readers can store thousands of Braille books, add bookmarks and make notes. And it's reducing the cost of Braille reading technology. It just gives you a new... From thousands of pounds to under 800. The social enterprise Bristol Braille plans to release it this year and wants to counter low use of Braille. So you could bang all your A-level books onto here. Yeah. As blind people now regularly listen to books, think Braille is out of date or not worth learning. Reading with your fingertips has a far more immediate effect on your brain than, than listening to things. You, when you hear things, particularly through th synthetic speech, it's not as accurate or as immediate. Other Braille reading devices have only one line of dots. The Canute has nine. So people can more easily understand music and maths on the page. And the Canute is much smaller than paper Braille books. These dozens of Braille encyclopedia volumes on the left hold the same information as these nine printed books on the right. The RNIB says these days less than 8% of visually impaired people in the UK read Braille. It's generally accepted that Braille use has gone down and that if something isn't done, it's likely to die out. Advocates of Braille say that people who use talking technology to read can struggle with spelling and punctuation. Do which hand is your Braille hand? As well as helping with learning, Braille can sometimes be more private than audio. If I ever wanted to read, I, didn't, I don't have to read out loud, I just read quietly on my own. My spelling is just awful and a couple of teachers have said I should read Braille, more Braille books, so when this comes out, it will help. So, what's the prediction for Braille's future? I think this is a very exciting time for Braille. Three main reasons. First of all, a new Braille code, Unified English Braille, is now used right the way across the English-speaking world, meaning, hopefully, more Braille for everyone. Secondly, we have new Braille devices coming on the market, including the Canute and the Orbit display, and many more. And thirdly, new ways of delivering Braille, for example, downloading it through the internet. So, maybe new tech can touch these children's futures. She's got it. Emma Tracy, BBC News.